so the big day has come and gone. Um, it is, let's check the date. It is Friday, June 23rd. So the week following Juneteenth weekend. And uh, I have spent the past few days resetting the space, uh, cleaning up post Juneteenth and uh, working to finalize everything here on site to get it ready to just hand it over. And so I don't think I've worked as hard as I've, I don't think I've ever worked that hard to get this place ready for Juneteenth to get it up for that weekend. And not to mention that, but just the whole weekend. I can't even say that I, um, um, and I barely even got any footage because I spent so much time just trying to help out, do what I can, do what I could for everybody else and for the space. And let me tell you, it was a challenging week, couple challenging couple of weeks leading up to this thing. But it was a good goal to get this place ready, and I got it ready. Um, so you're gonna see some of the footage of the final kind of walk around of this space and you'll notice all of the shade cloth that got installed and that was a fraction of what got ordered um, we got these massive shade cells and unfortunately they were just too big for the space and we did get some um, pole hardware to install them into the ground and uh, that worked for about a day and then of course we had those typical Texas storms. Winds picked up and uh, let's see, on Friday morning of the first event for Juneteenth, at least here in the garden space, um, the poles, at least three of them, had completely ripped out of the ground. So needless to say, it was a few very, very challenging, very, very hot days. Um, some of the hottest weather we've had of the year so far, it's been triple digits. The heat index in Austin, San Antonio has been um, 118 at some point. So it definitely was a challenge to get this place ready, get this place safe, get this place ready for the people who came and checked it out. And oh boy, did they check it out on Saturday um, during our mu music festival here featuring the Gap X Band. Um, we at least had hundreds of people I'd say at least four or five hundred people at you know over the the span of the event out here on the lawn for the concert for food for games having fun and we had tons of people in this space so the public got to see it in its entirety uh, this Juneteenth and we had a couple bartenders here so this covered bar was serving its purpose and I just went non-stop, filled in, um, helped out as much as I could, and obviously I didn't get as much, I didn't get any footage. Um, I think uh, part of that too was maybe just, I don't know, even if I had the chance, would I even have gotten footage? I can't really say that I was, you know, enjoying it just because I was moving around so much trying to help other people. Um, but after um, Monday this week and Wednesday this week and today's Friday, it has been three solid days of resetting the grounds, resetting this garden space to make it look as good as possible post-event. And just to try to combat all of these storms that we've had in Texas. And um, so it has been a challenge, but I can safely say that, um, you know, myself and the other people who helped out in the space were able to get this place ready for the public. Um, and now, you know, my work is pretty much done. Um, so I don't know what's next. Um, I know that I've poured a lot of blood and sweat um, into this place since August 2020. And who knows when this footage will get shown or seen. And um, let's see, this being Friday, the third episode of renovating an abandoned pool Healing Pool Reimagined is up and running. And so that series, at least season one, will run through the end of August. And uh, I'm just so grateful to have that first part out. 
and it'll be a thing to work on the rest of the footage to get that ready to go for season two and I have to decide if I want to put all the footage, rest of the footage I have into a longer season because um, I'd rather not stretch it out to you know more than three seasons but maybe we just do two seasons kind of like you know getting it ready to when I left August 2021 and getting it ready till June 2023 so that's about two years of footage I might have to try to fit into one season we will kind of see how it all kind of plays out but basically now at this point I'm just wrapping things up I'm just about to change gears I reset the space did a bunch of stuff today after another storm um, got the photos and videos doing all that right now just in case we get another storm and all this stuff gets ripped out I don't want to have to reset this. Um, so I will kind of turnkey this side as best as I can, clean up my uh, any construction material that's left over, and we're in pretty good shape. Um, and uh, just a huge shout out to the different people that have helped at different times. You know, it's been a little bit here and, and there for everybody. Um, so a huge shout out early on, you know. Um, my guy Jose, who's always working in the building, Wayne Edwards, who um, not only painted the pool, you know, installed the solar here and on the pool house, and has just been a huge help the past few weeks. So a huge shout out to Wayne. Um, and um, you know, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know what's next. Um, I'm in a place where you know my city, my contract with the city of Austin is coming to an end. Um, by the end of July and so I'm trying to figure out what the next thing is and um, all I know is that this space um, has had enough for me and I need to start working on other things um, and kind of go from there and um, so hopefully I don't know what's next maybe hopefully I get a little bit of a break before I just jump into the next major project um, but you know all in all I can say that I really um, put everything I had into this side and um, acquiring the materials, acquiring the means to make this place happen. Of course, a lot of it came out of just my own blood and sweat. And, um, you know, so it's always tough to do that kind of, kind of how that much work and then to have to move on. But, you know, I think there's bigger and better things coming. And also, um, I would love to kind of pour my own blood and sweat into my own projects. And, um, you know, as much as I've loved working on this site here. And um, so all that to say, who knows what the future is for this site. Obviously, at some point, this place will no longer be here. This is a long-term temporary project. And when the Carver undergoes their master plan redesign. The building won't come out this far, at least so far as the latest iterations, but um, this will be a part of the green space. And there will be a garden um, at that space, which will more than likely be in that direction. But, you know, they might have this space for a year, two years, three years, who knows? I hope that they get some solid use out of it. And um, this has been a portfolio project for me. and. Um, you know, all I can say is that it's uh, been a pleasure. Hopefully, um, this place helps to inspire people that, you know, don't have as many uh, resources at their disposal, you know, um, inspires people to reuse material. This is a at least 70% reuse, reclaim structure right here. And you can do some amazing things, even if your material is a little bit older and not brand new. And so I really hope that people um, were inspired, are inspired by this space, and take some lessons to their own spaces. And um, that's pretty much it. You know, I think I could go on and on, but you know, there'll be a lot of footage, videos, photos, all of that. And I will get some night shots and night videos. Um, maybe the night just depending and um, but you know at this point I guess this is just me signing off from uh, the sunken stage garden at Keeling Pool so 
almost three years of my life part-time on and off and uh, really putting it in and trying to make a make a difference here and make an impact here and so this is me um, on day probably a thousand or something uh, signing off so thanks y'all for watching this and we'll catch you on the next one